You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. We'll see how Poland's Mataj Gamrot handles this particular stylistic challenge. We have seen him really excel in matchups like this. Was so good in transition and emerging on the scorecards against Armand Sarukyan in what was his first UFC main event. And now with Lands a big right hand early. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Well, that smile on his face is... You ready? You ready? All right, this round just about to get underway. Benil Darius' career largely has been spent residing in this lightweight division's top ten. You know about the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game, right? Oh, big left hook there! Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Losing five back. Gets back to his feet. Oh, just opening up on him now. Get another hook here. He certainly landed. Oh, hurt bad. You cannot sit in this position. Referee, he tries to stop the fight. Herb Dean steps in. What a fight! Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow, that's unbelievable. It was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Al Quinta. All right, so the no-nonsense ally Quinta getting it done here in a big spot tonight. You know he's a good realtor, but he is an even better fighter as evidenced by this outing here tonight. You can argue. This was his best and cleanest performance in his UFC career. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so Charles Oliveira ready to get back to it right now. He has evolved his game. He's hurt. He's hurt. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Charles the Bronx Oliveira. All right, you heard it there from Buff Charles Oliveira, your winner by knockout as yet another elite lightweight crumbles in his wake. Charles Oliveira is a doll. I mean, this guy is so powerful. Even going back to the Michael Chandler fight, you recognize that he has this power that can shut your lights out. And tonight, 
It was on full display as he earns a knockout victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, Jim Miller ready to go for round one. Takanori, Gomi, Yancey, Medeiros, Fabricio, Kamois, all guys who have fallen this way. You see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to make shot on the beat. Big left hand there inside. Oh, yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, well, as many of you know, the overwhelming majority of Conor McGregor's pro MMA wins have come by knockout, and he produces another one here in the Octagon tonight. Produces another knockout. Conor McGregor will tell you that he's going to knock you out, and he goes out there, and he does it. Hats off to Conor McGregor and all of his coaches for another massive victory and another huge spot in his UFC career. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round one. And Jalen Turner looks even taller and longer, if you can believe it, than he did in his last fight. He's a well-rounded five-tool player, credentialed in the BJJ world, an outstanding striker, as Bobby Green can attest. But for the opposition, it's just about how do you get inside against Jalen Turner? Can you even shoot at his legs? Absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on, and one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. All right, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jalen the Tarantula So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.
You ready to fight? Ready. Boa noite. That is yes. Brazilian Portuguese for good night. And Charles Oliveira is hoping to hear that at night's end against Conor McGregor. What a fascinating lightweight matchup. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive blow to put his opponent on Robin Lay. Beautiful combination. tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of the very first round. We're going to win by knockout, Charles the Bronx Oliveira. All right, you heard it there from Buff Charles Oliveira, your winner by knockout as yet another elite lightweight crumbles in his wake. Charles Oliveira is a doll. I mean, this guy is so powerful. Even going back to the Michael Chandler fight, you recognize that he has this power that can shut your lights out. And tonight, it was on full display as he earns a knockout victory. Ready. Ready. Do it. All right, no issues for Jalen Turner with the fight before the fight as we get ready to go with round one. Every time this man competes, I can't help but wonder aloud how he makes 156 pounds. He talked a little bit about his grappling and his wrestling. He's hurt bad. Turner's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Oh, that's tight. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address that. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies. 
ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 57 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Jalen the Tarantula. While tears of joy and hard to blame him, we have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on, and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of time until I get the belt wrapped around my waist tonight. He got that done. Look at him celebrate with his corner. Those guys all believe, and he got the job done.